Welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. How you guys doing today? Hello, everyone. Howdy. Hola. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, this is Mr. Nine. Yep. My name's Will. This is James. Hello there. <laughs> We're going to be talking about uh, some Oculus issues, some reviews for that, um, some Ubisoft information, and Final Fantasy. So we have a bunch of awesome stuff. Um, so guys, let's just kind of get right into this. Talk about the yeah. Oculus. Uh, obviously, the Oculus is officially out. So a lot of people are mm -hmm. getting it. No. Or no, not getting it. The exact opposite. Yeah. yeah. The exact opposite of that. A lot of people are not receiving their Oculus. So, so they're basically like the Wii all over again. Almost. Like everybody wants oh, this it. Is Nobody worse can than the find Wii. it. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're kind of... I don't know. I don't know if they just... I guess they're not equipped. So basically what's happening is a lot of people that are wanting to purchase the Oculus and have purchased the Oculus are not getting the Oculus because the, of some... On the date that they said they were Yeah, they're pushing them. it back continuously. Uh, shipping issues, you know, I don't know if it's production it's, issues. It's a production or, issue. Yeah. Uh, according to the, 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 the dev team over at Oculus, there is a shortage in a specific component that the thing just absolutely will not work without it. Yeah. And it is causing shipping delays because they can't get enough to fulfill the initial orders. Yeah. They like prioritized uh, people that did enough with Kickstarter. Right. And a lot of those people got theirs, but people that pre-ordered it and stuff like that and were being told you're going to get it on this day. Right. So I thought it was cool that so. you guys saw the headline where the the owner or founder or whatever delivered the first Oculus to the right. guy's front door. It's pretty cool. Up in Alaska. <laughs> I would have been like, I'd be like, thanks, cool. man, leave. i got to use this now. Yeah, he can deliver it. He's Good like, luck he's out like, there. He's like, ah. Palmer's a pretty cool guy. Like mm -hmm. when, when The guy that created the Oculus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he said, I'll be... I'll be Youngest rich person in the world. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'll be watching you, buddy. Yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, anyway, yeah, but so overall, still some, some major issues there. Um, but let's talk about, I guess, uh, have you guys read anything or heard anything about actual reviews for the unit yet? I haven't. I'm not. I've seen that reviews are coming out. I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and go through them to see what first impressions are like. I just read about the production debacle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, going back to that, they're refunding shipping costs. Yeah, how mad would you be? And covering, which is saving a lot of people a lot of money, especially people in Australia. It's saving people in Australia $132 in shipping in costs. In theory, I would be really mad. But in reality, this happens like every day in gaming. So Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you asked me that about Uncharted like last month, then. Yeah. Unless I was like the first person to pre-order it and I didn't get mine, mm -hmm. I'd be pretty mad. Well, that's a little different. Let's yeah. say Uncharted's out, some other people got theirs, but you don't have yours. Okay, I get really mad. Yeah. You, you guys saw what happened with the Division beta and me, and like, <laughs> yeah. I was on the phone all day. And it was just because other people were playing it, and I, everyone else I knew was playing the beta. I look at my friends with everybody, I'm just, why am I being excluded? I can't <sighs> wait for Uncharted. I'm yeah. sorry. I just, oh, it's it's really good. Weeks, man. Yeah, yeah, man. A few more weeks. It's going to be awesome. So many good games but coming out. That's I, I've, seen, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people that don't usually game using the VR, the Oculus, and it's overwhelming for them to be immersed in such a environment I know a lot never, of people have to take anti-nausea you know, medication. There, there's, so one, to play it. there's one, I think I showed you guys on Wednesday, this Save the Cat. Yeah. yeah. It's no, literally it's, people I standing a in a room and they put the, 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 the rift on and when they put the rift on, it's this little cat sitting on a plank right. outside of a skyscraper, skyscraper window. Yeah. And these people are like freaking out, yeah. thinking they're going to fall to their death it's, when it's, they're it's standing cool. on solid ground. So, I, I, I mean, for me, that's just part of the experience and the innovation. But oh, absolutely. I mean, as far as the games go, I've been seeing kind of 50-50. I've been seeing some, some people... Some of the games are great. Yeah. Some of them are just... Yeah, that, that's a, that's pretty much it. There's no middle of the road type but, experience. It's either amazingly awesome, or just not not doing well at all. But when you have new tech like this, the say, same thing happened with, with the, the Wii. Wii. Yeah, now a lot of the games, launched, like launched Nintendo up. branded games, are awesome. And then yeah. those original like third party launch a, titles were just trash. It's a double edged Wii mode. Like Red Steel. Situation. Red Steel was. <laughs> An awesome it's concept cool. for a game, yeah. and it <laughs> failed miserably. Darth Maul suddenly popped in my head oh, with the yeah. and just whoosh. Anyway, we're talking about the Oculus, uh, some uh, issues that they're having in production. <laughs> You're watching Listen to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Hi. Uh, and guys, I mean, yeah, so 
So yeah, I mean, I would be pretty mad if I, if I ordered mine and I knew it was out, other people were getting theirs, and yet I'm still waiting to get mine, you know, I'd be a yeah. frustrated. Yeah. Uh, but game-wise, I mean, there are some good games out there, like I saw some good things about the, um, the Lucky's Tale, which is mm -hmm. basically like a platforming, happy kind of... It's like... Super Mario meets Conquerors without the pervertedness. That's exactly what it is. I mean, that's a perfect way. I was couldn't. And say like, if if you like, look at the the character in the game and like, bring your like headset closer to him. He like waves to you and yeah. does all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So it's it's very it's very good at interacting Charming with you. The, yeah. the camera. Um, the other game that you played uh, at, at Chronos. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that, gone, that, heard, gone pretty good. That, I, I would hope so because that was a lot of fun. Mm. A lot of the other games, though, I mean, people are just, just not into. I mean, there's not there's, going good. There's one that I thought was pretty funny. Um, a, a company was streaming a VR. I know what you're gonna say. The driving. No, I thought you were gonna say the job simulator game. <laughs> no, job simulator. That looks funny. <laughs> but no, they they were streaming. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Giant Bomb, maybe. They were streaming a racing game in the Rift. Okay, and the guy literally like. He's racing, he's racing, he's like turning his head and the camera's moving and whatnot. And he gets this idea. He stands up, and when oh, he stands yeah. up, his <laughs> head that. goes through the roof of the car and he's like way and up he sits here. Down on the and then he seat. moves over and sits where the pastor would sit and he looks over at himself and it's There's no a head. headless character. It's a, it's a There's headless nothing there. And it's awesome. just so funny that anybody would e A even think to do something like that. Yeah. And B, they didn't even bother to model a character head because right. it's a first-person experience and there's yeah. no other camera. Yeah. Ball. So that that it that to me was to like funny. Ghost Unless maybe the camera is attached to the head, and when he stood up, it, it just the, 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 the model yeah. came with it. Sure, yeah. makes sense. But it's still just extremely hilarious that those kinds of things are in this. All right, we're going to talk about some Ubisoft news and some other things right when we get back. Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're just talking about the Oculus issues and whatnot, uh, but I'm sure they'll get it all figured out. Anyway, uh, let's move on to some Ubisoft news. Uh, by the way, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name is Will. This is Nine. Yep. This is James. Howdy ho! Thank you guys again for checking us out. Uh, anyway, um, checking us out. Checking us out. Yeah, mm -hmm. woo, and listening to us. Uh, Ubisoft files for a uh, patent uh, trademark for Beyond Good and Evil. Beyond Good and Evil, um, you guys probably remember this. Years, yeah, I do remember that. Uh -huh. Years and years ago. GameCube days. They, they started a release, I think when it might have been when the PS3 was first coming out, 360, all this kind of stuff. They started right. releasing screenshots of what a potential Beyond Good and Evil 2 might look like. Look like. Hmm. And we had never... Uh, the game never came to fruition. And it just kind of fell by the wayside and kind of forgotten about. A cult following. Yeah. And this game has got one of the biggest cult followings ever. I don't know what. I mean, it's like something about the art direction, the the concepts, Everything. the it's characters. Such a cool game. It's so intriguing. Yeah. It's Did just you ever play really. It? Huh? Did you ever play? Oh it? yeah. It's a great yeah, game. It's a great. It's a fantastic game. But the pig guy sitting on, yeah. you remember, so, so you've seen all I've the screens. I've seen all the, all the screenshots that were posted. Yeah, they all, it all just went away. But now all of a sudden, out of nowhere, uh, <laughs> uh, they, they filed for the uh, trademark. So, I mean, again, are we going to see this game finally this, or what? This is, Beyond Good and Evil 2 has been, it's almost like the running joke of Half-Life 2 when Half-Life 2 was first <laughs> announced. It, it's following that same kind of suit. Vis-a-vis, -vis our go. It, it, it keeps yeah, getting <laughs> renewed, and this is like the third or fourth time they've renewed the, the patent or trademark for well, this Beyond is, uh, Evil. This is definitely the decade for reboots and you know bringing back things that should have worked now and doing them justice. Like, so it definitely is plausible. Oh, God, that means we're going to see Superman that. 64 again. Mm. <laughs> I think someone should remake it, like an Indian should just remake it just because. Just because? Yeah. Get a lot of press over it. Anyway, um... Shaq Fu's getting another game. I mean, there you go. Considered yeah. to be... The worst fighting game the, of all time. Yeah, one of the one of the worst games of all time. Possibly the second I love Shaq third. Fu, though. Mm. I love it. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> I love that Shaq, like, puts his foot in the gaming industry. He's got his own, uh... He's a, got his foot in everything. I told yeah. Will he's got, the, he's got his own League of Legends team. Yeah. That he coaches yeah. and everything. Yeah. Dude is involved with everything. You need to support better. Yeah. 
Need about, a board your lane. <laughs> Come on, dog. Yeah. Come on, dog. It's, it's me. Dog. It's me. It's me. Uh, anyway, uh, you got a dunk on him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I love the. I mean, I literally forgot all about this game, like yeah. all together. But I think it's genius. I mean, the the task with these publishers are to find games that people are going to want to play that that's worthy of investing these millions of dollars into producing, so they can get the return on their investment, right? I think this is one of those games where they can't go wrong with it, and they'll, you know, if you make it a AAA title with quality production behind it, they'll end up selling a ton of copies. So. Oh, absolutely. That, that game will sell like wildfire. Yeah, man. Even, even if you do it like with a really good indie developer. And what's great is be solid. Yeah. even now they could like bundle it with the first one. Yeah, mm. that would be a great idea. That would be That'd a genius be idea. Awesome. Yeah. There you go, Ubisoft. Make it happen. I'd buy um, that. So in other interesting news, uh, Sony that. Computer Entertainment has now changed their name mm -hmm. to Sony Interactive Entertainment. Yep. Shocking. Yeah. Trimmers throughout the gaming world. I mean... Do you know why? I think I know why. Why do you say? It's the VR. That's exactly yeah. why I thought. Yeah. I mean, but they, to change their entire... We'll totally rebrand ourselves. Well, well, Domino's dropped pizza just because it started serving some pasta on the side. They're, so. they're, <laughs> they're putting a lot of weight into PlayStation VR being a success. Like the subs. Yeah. We're no longer Domino's Pizza anymore. Like, how Domino's. much money did they spend dropping pizza off every sign? Like, they got not as much as they made boxes. off that pasta, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> pizza Hut's pasta is way better. I know. And they didn't, but anyway. they didn't change their name to Hut. <laughs> Back pasta to the topic Hut. at hand here. <laughs> Papa John's has some good stuff too. No, Papa John's does not have any I'm good stuff. I'm Papa John's is disgusting. I like Papa John's oh, pizza. Come on. I hate Papa John's. Come on, Little Caesars is disgusting. That's Little where Caesars the is where five, it's at. Five dollars. Oh, God. I I grew up on two for twenty Tuesdays. Uh, All right, this is definitely podcast material. So check us right. out on Checkpoint this week when we talk about pizza, pizza. <laughs> and our rage against our specific brands. Yeah, we talk about pizza, movies, and beers on the Checkpoint podcast. There you go. <laughs> anyway, nice little plug there. Yeah, who cares? I mean, it's an interesting thing, but I just find it. They're weighing heavily on PlayStation VR being a to re to entirely change their name. Well, crazy. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't like when any company invests that heavily. Into but you know what? Now that I think, sorry, to interrupt. I know you're good. Uh, so they, uh, they have the PlayStation. It is an interactive experience. Yeah, but Instead it's called of the Sony PlayStation Computer Entertainment System. Computer. <laughs> He's got a point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even like whatever and, nine. And, and <laughs> no, I, I know this because it, on every trademark thing that you read at the bottom of like boxes and, and game covers and whatnot. Yeah. Every single one it that does. says PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2, computer entertainment system. Yeah. And the PlayStation Vita handheld entertainment system. Everybody else is just Xbox, PC, and Mac. Yeah. They don't oh, have that other stuff to add on an entertainment to system. <laughs> right. So Sony has always branded themselves with this computer entertainment system. Yeah. Now that they're changing it to interactive entertainment, I think we'll see the same suit on VR games. I PlayStation Interactive System. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, now the more that a I little think bit more comprehensive. The, the exactly. more I think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. But yeah. there see? you go. We got to make fun of stuff though, or it's yeah, no, sure. no fun. Well, it's, <laughs> you know, good job, Sony, and then whatever. And then on some <laughs> other quick news, uh, Tracer is being added to Heroes of the Storm. Yes. Um, because she's one of the most popular Overwatch characters. But with no butt pose. No, and this comes to light after they've removed the over-the-shoulder pose from Overwatch. Mm -hmm. Which has been in the news a lot lately. Uh, it's so stupid because one fan got upset. They even came out and originally <laughs> said, we're not going to remove something just because somebody's upset about it. Well, you see there, you can make a difference. In, and, in you know, but play. should you? But, uh, the guy had it. The guy all had right, it. Listen, when we get back, we're going to be talking about Final Fantasy. We can't wait to go over this. Stick with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We just got to talk about Ubisoft, the Oculus, and stuff. Uh, you're watching, listening to Press Start TV. My name's Will. This is James. Hi. This is Nine. Yep. Let's talk about some Final Fantasy news. Woo. I know all you Final Fantasy fans out there are getting so pumped for this. There's a lot of news. <laughs> There's a lot to go over with you, so you guys can be right there. Yeah, cheering us on and, and as we talk Strap about in. this. Strap in. To your airship. So Final Fantasy 15 is basically going to be a terrible game. Don't buy. I'm just kidding. 
Uh, anyway, no, it might be a terrible game. <laughs> I don't. I just, if it's anything like this, I it's not. They need to break that. away from that. So it's pretty they much desperately need to break away from. This is the same situation Fire Emblem found itself in before Awakening, which is just like, hey, the last few entries of your series have sucked so bad, people are not recognizing you as a major thing anymore. If you don't solve this amount, you're done, and it's a very high amount. It's like, you know, but that's going to make them break their A game because it's been a long time since Final Fantasy, I think, has been told, like, hey. <laughs> well, they had that little sit down. Well, they, well, uh, the, first of all, the, the, I believe the launch title has been confirmed, or the launch date has been confirmed. For 15th? September, September 30th. 30th. Yes, it is yeah. September 30th. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. So there you go. Final Fantasy 15 coming to you on September 30th this year. Going to be awesome. Uh, I'll just kind of go down the list here, guys, and we'll sure. talk about some of this news. Um, there was a an event recently where they just announced a bunch of Final Fantasy info. Uncovered is um, what it was called. Yep. Uh, so there's a CG movie called King's Glaive uh, that's coming out. So a Final Fantasy 15 CG movie coming out just for you. What do you guys think about that? The trailer for it looks awesome. Does it really? It looks. I haven't really watched cool. the trailer for yeah. that yet. It looks really, really cool. It's got. If you tell me something looks awesome, then I'm actually really pumped. I'm just like, yeah, nine likes it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, I, I usually Maybe don't like. I'm gonna love it. I, I yeah. usually <laughs> don't like the cinematic movies for Final Fantasy. Yeah. Like Spirits Within was a atrocity. horrible. I saw that on the shelf the other day, and all I, the I Easter like, eggs in the yeah. DVD yeah. are better than the actual movie. Yeah. That's how bad that movie is. I, I totally Great agree. Great concept. Plot of that movie lost me. So man, it's so confused. It was all over the place. The I was like, no real structure. Movie? Where's the chocobos? The, what the Advent Children movie was okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it still wasn't great. I like yeah. the art direction in that one. It was really good. Uh, so, and that's the art direction they're going with the remake. Yeah. Sick course. action sequences. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. That's about the only thing that I enjoyed about the whole movie. Right. It was kind of like cheesy as far as everything else. And Red 13 actually looked like Red 13. Yeah. 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 That was cute. I did like the whole Vincent thing with like get a cell phone. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> so this one, this one looks good. This looks awesome. This is like. I'm not sure where it takes place in relation to the game, okay. but it's all about the king and his like assassins, pretty mm -hmm. much called the Glaives. So a little bit of story for you guys on Final Fantasy, those who don't know, uh, you're basically trying to reclaim the throne in Final Fantasy 15. That's you, all that we're going to say. You are a prince named Noctis. Yeah. So. Uh, You'll figure out what that means uh, when the I game comes out. I think this movie will lead into that. Leads into that, okay. I so think. Yeah, they released I, a lot about the plot, like the, the yeah. bare bones of it, like arranged marriages and stuff like that. Yeah. It's very like, traditional style <laughs> Japanese yeah. Now, did they, sure. did, re did they release the date for that? King's Glaive and everything else that we're going to talk about will be out before the game Beforehand. comes out. Yeah. Okay. I think, uh, I think that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Because that way some people will know a little bit more about the characters, yep. the story, what we're doing. You're probably your, one of your next things was, and it's very similar to the anime thing. Like yeah, I saw that on exactly YouTube right. the other night. Like, is there already the first a first episode, episode released? is already out. Yeah. It's a five part series mm -hmm. and the first episode is already out. So this is a prequel series coming out for Final Fantasy 15 as well, an animated series, like a, a five, five part series. Yeah. Pretty awesome, more, yeah. more stuff. Yeah, they're definitely like, Feeding us bit by bit. I think that's. Feeding I think it's brilliant. I mean, oh, it is. Again, especially the prequel with the animated series, because again, you're going to tell a story. Mm -hmm. People are going to watch it, leading up to your release of the game. So now mm -hmm. you know the characters. You know what's going on. That's genius. And that yeah. game looks huge. It looks like one well, of the biggest open world Final Fantasies we've ever had. It's going to be huge. Yeah. But I want to go back to Kingsglaive real quick and say that is a, that will be available for downloading and streaming only. But there's a catch, and I'll get to that in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, you get a full CG movie. You get an animated prequel series. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the first part of that is already out. No, it's called yes. Brotherhood, if you want to check that out. So, very, very cool. And then there's another thing, uh, the Justice Masters 5. Monsters, Monsters 5. 5, sorry. It's Justice it's Masters. Justice Masters. It's a, it's a golfing game da, da, da. where superheroes play yeah. golf. Nice. <laughs> With swords and <laughs> yeah. baseballs and... No. Um, it's the mini game. <laughs> it's it's a like, pinball game from the, the Final Fantasy 15 that is also being released as a mobile phone game. Oh, cool. So it's like you, you get boss fights in the pinball game <laughs> and you get monster fights and stuff. And it's it's kind of like the Puzzles and Dragons yeah. kind of yeah. thing. That was a good game. Um, so y you get the power ups through hitting the different points on the thing, mm -hmm. fight the bosses, and so forth, so on. She could just they're, Sounds they're, fun. Yeah. They're, it's the first time that they're putting a lot of time and effort into a mini game that's not a card game. Right, sure. Which I would love if they did that. Too. So again, this is all themed around Final Fantasy 15. If you didn't think this was a big deal, this is a big deal. That's why we're talking about it. Yeah. Um, 
like a Final Fantasy. It's kind of like James. Game. He's kind of a big deal. Mm, well, a huge deal. <laughs> if I was to say. Uh, but no, seriously, I would play that. Another I'm, Final I'm, Fantasy <laughs> yeah. news. Uh, Final Fantasy XI. The servers for this game have now officially been shut down on all consoles. Consoles. The PC yeah, servers consoles. are still available. After 14 years. Say, which if you're still playing, kudos. 14 years, yeah. They're still... It was like that with Star Wars Galaxies. Yeah. Like that game had been going on for so long and people were still into the last yeah. second yeah. of that. And correct me if I'm wrong, that's the final that thing on PS2, I think, something like that. That was the last online servers for the PS2. So yeah. PS2 online connectivity is dead. The last thing we have for exist. you guys is um, Tabata joking, not jokingly, but I guess he set a, a, a goal for his team way back when this game has been in development for a long time. He says we need to sell 10 million copies in order to be successful. Which is and a big just to thing. give you an idea, the, what was it, The Witcher and Fallout haven't sold 10 million copies together. Final Fantasy VII, which is, you know, the most popular one in the series. Just um, went over. Just got over 11 million copies, and that's including every re-release, every, like, port, <laughs> every game came out in thing. 1997. Yeah. No easy task, yeah. but, I mean, I, with the production value behind it, I mean, maybe that's why they have all this other stuff, so that they will be successful. Only time will tell. Uh, that's really all the time we have for you Let's today. So much Final Fantasy stuff. We'll talk about it more in the Checkpoint. Check us out on that. PressStartTV.com. That's all the time. Like I said, we have. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Dun, 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 dun.